but I must need a place to stay for the night.
like a nice warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. But you're a... You're a... Mrs. Potts, my dear, very pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, careful, darling. Who are you? Madame de la Grande Gouche. Wait, this is impossible. Now, what shall we dress you for dinner? Let's see what I've got in my drawers. That's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Oh, but, but you must. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry. This is all happening so fast. And it was a very great thing you did, my dear. We all did so. I'm going to miss my papa so much.
himself. Crazy old Maurice. Crazy old Maurice. Little one, I'm afraid I've been thinking. Dangerous lost time? I know. But that wacky old coot is Bell's father. And his sanity's only so so. Now the wheels in my head have been turning. Since I looked at that booty old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to Bell. Anything we can do to 
make your stay more comfortable. Anything. Anything at all. Well, I am a little hungry. Except that. Don't worry. Well, you heard the master said. No pitch pot. I'm not about to let the poor child go hungry. Fine. Glass of water, crust of bread, and then... Ah, conserve, conserve. She is not our prisoner. She is our guest. We must make her feel welcome here. Fine. <laughs> Dinner. But keep it down. And once I find out, it'll be our next. <laughs> of course, of course. But what is dinner without a little uh, music? No music. <laughs> My chère mademoiselles, it's with the deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your be our guest, be our guest, put our service to this. Tie a napkin around your neck, show you get big about it. Yes. 
yet another example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And, as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it! <laughs> now may I draw your attention to the flying buttresses above the apron. Oh, my dear, it's all so beautiful. I had no idea. If only he weren't here. Act like a gentleman. I am nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. Uh, what's over there? <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. Any interest in the West Wing? Ah, so that's the West Wing. Oh, nice building. I want to try it. Um, perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something else. Over here we have some exquisite tapestries. Take your bones and bring it back.
pulling you two up a bit in a nice bowl of soup.
Gaston, you know he's not crazy. I might be able to clear up some misunderstanding if. If what? If you'll marry me. What? One word about politics. Never! Fine then! Take the old man! Let me go! Go! Wait! I can prove my father's not crazy! Show me the beast! <gasps> that's him! That's him! Is he dangerous? Oh no! I bet he looks right! He's my kind! He's my friend! If I didn't know any better, I'd say you had feelings for this monster! He's a monster that's on you are! She's as crazy as the old man! She says this beast is her friend! Well, I've hunted wild beasts and I've seen what they can do! The beast will make off with your children! <gasps> Look, I'm after them in the night. You can't do that. Forget the old man, I say. We kill the beast.
Yes, it was. No, it was. 